Good evening, everyone. Right now in heaven, they're looking at this moment. When Jesus was on earth, he spread a message that every single person could be forgiven, set free, and receive the free gift of eternal life if they just place their faith in him. But after they placed their faith in him, Jesus gave a command to symbolize their new life in him. So what I want to do in just a few moments is describe what is baptism. Many of us maybe were baptized when you were a little child and, and you were baptized by your parents. But we've seen Jesus, he got baptized when he was 30 years old. And we see all the baptisms in scripture were grown adults that made a decision and they made a choice to place their faith in Jesus Christ. And what followed that was baptism. Baptism does not save you, but baptism is a symbol that you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ, your old life is gone, and you're a new person following a new leader, Christ. When we get to heaven, there's no categories in heaven when it comes to religious groups or denominations and churches. When we get to heaven, this is what Jesus said. Pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. What he meant by that is in heaven, there's only a Father, which is God, and children. Who are children? Those that place their faith in Jesus. The Bible says they believe and accepted him, believed in Jesus, and accepted him as their Lord and Savior. And then he gave them the right to become children of God. So today we're going to hear testimonies of people that have placed their faith in Jesus Christ and how their lives have been transformed through the power of God's spirit. This is not joining a religion. This is an experience with God himself. So what is baptism? It's just three things. One, baptism is an act of obedience. In Mark 16, 16, this is what Jesus says. He who has believed in me, he who has believed in me, and has been baptized will be saved from the penalty of God's wrath and judgment. But he who has not believed will be condemned. Believers get baptized. Jesus commanded, if you're believing in me and you've placed your faith in me as your Lord and Savior, I command you, your next step of obedience is get baptized. So it's an act of obedience. Say, say with me, obedience. So if you're saved and you place your faith in Jesus, your next step is to get baptized. And if you're not baptized yet, you could go ahead and sign up for our next baptism and be the next one in line to get baptized. And you're letting everybody know, I've placed my faith in Jesus. I'm saved. I'm saved. Who gets baptized? Believers that are saved. Saved, saved from the, penalty, uh, the penalties of our sins and judgment. Understand, there is a judgment to be saved from, and Jesus is the only Savior. When you die and I die, we're going to stand before the Lord, and you're going to give an account for your life and the decisions that you made. There's only two ways that people try to get into heaven. One is they try to get into heaven by their own good works, and they say, you know, I'm going to heaven because I'm a good enough person, or I'm going to heaven because I belong to some religious group. No one's going to heaven because they belong to a religious group. No one's going to heaven because they're good enough. They're only going to get to heaven if they place their faith in Jesus Christ, the only Savior of the world, because eternal life is a gift. But those that do get saved and place their faith in Jesus, this is a symbol. They get baptized. Second thing baptism is, baptism is a symbol of a burial and a resurrection. As you'll see today, they'll be buried in the water. And then they'll come up. It's a symbol that their old life is done. I'm done with my old sinful life. I'm done with the anger. I'm done with the lying. I'm done with the adultery. I'm done. I'm done with serving the devil. I'm done with the violence. I'm done with the gang banging. I'm done with the drug addiction. I am done with that old life. I am now, and you come out of the water. Now I'm a new person. In Christ, I'm living for him. But look at Colossians 2.12 says, when you were baptized, 
when you were baptized, you were buried. This was a sign that I buried my old life. I'm done with that. It, and I, I, I could understand this really easy because I was, I'm married to my wife. And to be married to my wife, I had to bury my old life. And now I come up as a married man. There's, there's no more options for other girls. I'm married to my wife. She's my one and only. And when, you're serp- when you made a decision to serve God, you're done with the alcoholism. You're done with the weed. You're done with, you're, you're just done with that lifestyle. And say, I'm done with that. And by the power of Jesus, I can live a new life. How many understand that's freedom? It's a new life. Colossians 2.12 says, when you were baptized, you were buried as Christ was buried. When you were raised up in baptism, when you came out of the water, you were raised as Christ was raised. You were raised to a new life by putting your trust in God. You were raised to live a new life. Understand, we're not telling people to do this through willpower. We're saying do this through the power of God. There's, there's people that are in this line that they've tried to stop the sin. They've tried to stop the addiction. They tried to overcome the depression. They tried to overcome the anxiety, but they couldn't on their own. They needed the resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead to give them a new life. There's hope for us in Jesus. So it represents I'm done with my old life and I've been empowered to live a new life. Say with me, empowered to live a new life. It's power. Power to have peace, have joy, fulfill your purpose, be a great husband, be a mother. Whatever God has called you to do, but live for God. And the last thing baptism represents, baptism is a public declaration that we have placed our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That word Lord means master. That means when you give your life to Jesus, he's not just your Savior, he is now your master. What that means is, you do what he tells you to do. You now choose his will over your own will. There's a scripture that says, why do you call me Lord if you don't do what I've told you to do? We call Jesus our Lord because we've given up our will. And there's a time that you don't want to forgive someone. And God says, forgive them. And you say, okay, I'll forgive them. There's a time you want to punch someone. And God says, don't punch them. Love them. I love you, right? And you bless your enemies. Why would you do that? Because Jesus is your Lord. Come on. It changes your will. Your will now is to do his will. Race to new life. But baptism is a declaration that we have placed our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and are now part of of his, his church family. Say it with me. I'm part of his church family. I have a new family. I have a father and I have brothers and sisters in the Lord. Look what Acts 2.41 says. Those who believed what Peter said were baptized. And Peter was talking about Jesus. Place your faith in Jesus. Whoever calls the name of the Jesus will be saved. There's no other name to call on to be saved. But one name, his name is Jesus. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. There's no way to the Father but through him. It's not through a religion. It's not through an act, a religious act. There's only one way to get saved. It's place your faith in Jesus. And if you've not placed your faith in Jesus, understand this, you're not saved. You're not saved yet. But I pray by the time this service ends, you'll hear the testimonies of what Christ can do in a life if they just open up their hearts, place their faith in him. And if you do that tonight, then your next step of obedience will be to get baptized. Those who believe what Peter said were baptized and added to the church that day about 3,000 in all. Every single one of those that are getting baptized today are joining the ranks of all the sold out believers that are living today and have ever lived, and many of them have given their lives, and they've died for the cause of representing Christ. And they're going to join the ranks today as they get baptized. Let's give them a hand even right now. Let's go ahead and start baptizing them in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, give them a hand one more time, people. Give them a hand one more time. Hallelujah. So just want you to know real quick, as the first person's coming, everybody's getting in positions. This is a very exciting moment. This is a celebratory night. This is a night where the old is truly ending and the new is coming up. When they go down in the water, we're all praying. But when they come up, we're all celebrating. Amen? 
Okay, that's beautiful. Now, I also want to welcome up people practically. If you have family members who are getting baptized right now, feel free to walk up when your family member comes here, up to the front here. You can take pictures, you can take videos, and then you can come back to your seats if they're getting baptized up here. So feel the freedom to be able to do that and then go back to your seats. So here we go. Number one, brother. Let's give him a hand. Come on in. Come on in. Over here, Larry. Sit right over here, my brother, right over here. Yep, one down. Awesome, man, awesome. Look at him. <laughs> All right, my man. What's your name? How long have you been coming to the way? Louis, and uh, first of all, good evening, family. Um, coming since I've been watching in the way since March, but really committed more than three months now. Awesome, man. Louis, this is an amazing opportunity. This is an amazing moment for you. Why are you making the dedication to get baptized to now? What has Jesus done for you? Well, like Pastor Marco says, you know, he's here to teach, we listen, and now we're here to apply. And as a father and as a husband, you know, my lead of the house, I have to be the example towards my family and my wife. You know, set the throne for my queen and, you know, see the many blessings that are going to be coming forward. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I keep to my heart is Luke 15, like when he says he has those 100 sheep and... He goes out looking for that one. And I truly believe that, you know, we are all that one sheep that, you know, once he finds us, he puts us on his shoulder and brings us home. And here I am. I'm coming home. And, you know, can't wait. Hey, come on now. God is good. All right, stand up, my brother. Here we go. Here we go. I lay my hands on you. He's going to put his hands right behind you. Don't worry. He'll help you up. We won't let you drown, brother. <laughs> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Go on under, brother. Bring him up. Come on. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Hallelujah. All right. Come on out. Next one. Woo. You can send him a little bit quicker, too. We got some people we want to baptize tonight. Welcome to the water. The water of change. Mm. It's not that cold. Woo! See, that's what it felt like when you were in sin, right? Right? No, I'm just. <laughs> Come on over. No, hey, we'll help you down slowly as you're seated. Look, my God, the water might be intimid more intimidating than your past is the water. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. She's struggling here. Well, we'll just keep here. You won't have to go under in just a moment, so let's see you know. Okay. What is your name and how long you been coming to the way? Marie, I've been coming to the way a little over 10 years now. All right. Why are you making the dedication to get baptized tonight? What has Jesus done in your life? Um, well, I feel like I've been always doing the bare minimum. And I, the Lord's been tugging on my heart to go 100% into it so that I can help others and testimonies. So I want to be able to serve in the altar calls and, and go and to adopt the block and, and help others in their testimonies. So I want to do the obedient thing and do the first steps that I need to do and continue to obey and apply what I'm learning in the, in the word. Come on, go ahead and stand up. Give her a hand, give her a hand tonight. All right, he's going to put his arms underneath. Make sure you get her, Larry, right underneath her arms. All right, in the name of the Father, the Son, plug your nose for me if you would. And the Holy Ghost be baptized in Jesus' name. There she goes. Woo, give her a hand. You braved that water. You braved it. He'll help you out right over here. Come on next, please. Oh, look at this precious little girl right here. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. I'll help you in here, baby. Come on over here with Larry over here. He'll help you. <laughs> Go ahead and take a seat. I know it's a little bit cold. I got you. Okay, honey, what is your name and how long you been coming to the way? Uh, my name is Ali. And uh, when I first met Jesus, um, it was good. And I now I like church. All right, all right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Give her a hand. Woo! Amen. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> All right, my brother, we got you. We got you. Sit on this side, my man. Ooh, I think this is about to be good. I can feel it on you, man. God's done something in your life, hasn't he? God's done something in your life, hasn't he? All right, what's your name, man, and how long you been coming to the way? My name is Joshua. I've been um, for like a year. A year? 
One year. Okay. Turn him up just a little bit. Why are you making this dedication to let the past be gone? And what has Jesus done in your life? Um, He's done a lot. I've been shot. I've been, um, um, I'm, I'm just tired of my street life. And um, I'm, just, I'm ready to change. Wow. And, and you know, man, if you had to think about who you were then and where you are now, what's one sentence, one thing you can say to people out there who might be in gangs right now, who are out there right now in the streets, who are out there in a life of rebellion, what, what advice would you give them right now? You're making this step. This is a big difference than where you were. What would you say? Stop running from God. Stop running from God. Stand up, brother. Stand up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Woo! <laughs> Past is gone, brother. Come on, man. Come on in. Come on in. Yes, yes, my brother. Yes, my man. Oh, you're splashing all over. Oh, pre, pre, pre-baptism. Okay. What's your name, brother? How long you been coming to the way? My name's Michael. I've been coming to the way for 30 days already. Okay, all right, man. What has Jesus done in your life that you're making this commitment, Michael? Because he's changed my life. I mean, where I came from is really nothing good. And uh, I've heard a lot of people, and a lot of people heard me. And life just don't go nowhere from there. And um, I just need to change my life. Because I know that I'm a better person. And are you in the men's home now? Yes, sir. Come on, for the men's home. Can you give a hand for that? Where are my brothers in the men's home? Where's the people been coming and have a home now? A place for Jesus that it's such a life. Come on. Woo! No longer an orphan. Hey, listen, nobody is an orphan in the kingdom. Think about this. The greatest gift that God gave his son Jesus. Think about this. Jesus was the greatest gift to us, but the father gave his son a gift. He put him in a family. He put Jesus in a family with the father and the mother. Some of y'all didn't have fathers and mothers. Some of y'all don't even know who they were. But the moment you got saved, you got a father. You got a home. You fit in this place. You are part of the body. Thank you, Jesus. All right, stand up, my man. Here we go. In the name of the father and the son. Oh, you're about to die right there. Come back here, man. You need a little help. In the Holy Ghost, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Go on under. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Help you out, my man. Oh, you got some fans out there, brother. You got some fans out there. Come on, give it up. You know him. Give it up. What's your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Benjamin Sanchez, and I've been coming here for about 13 years. Okay, man. Benjamin, why now are you making this decision? You said you've been coming for 13 years. What happened and what changed that you want to make this decision now? I've been battling addiction for the last 15 years, and I'm tired of running. It doesn't do nothing for me. I need this. I need this. And do you believe that all addictions are broken by the power of Jesus? That was the only way I was able to break it. The only way you were able to. So you tried everything. You tried everything with addiction. I've tried everything. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. How long have you been free? I've been free for about a week, and I'm not going back. <laughs> All right, stand up, brother. Stand up, man. I baptize you. Come on back just a little bit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go on down. Woo! That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it, brother. Come on, help him on out. You got some help. That's your daughter's husband, Larry? Wow. Come on, man. Praise God. Take a seat if you can. <laughs> Bless you. What's your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Nancy Martinez, and I've been coming for a few months now. Awesome. Nancy, why are you making this decision? What has Jesus done in your life that you say, I want to make this decision in front of everyone, declaring that your old is gone? Well, <laughs> Jesus met me when I was broken, when I thought I, I tried to paint this perfect picture that oh, you know, I have it together, I, but behind closed doors, I was broken, I was depressed, I was suicidal. Um, and it's so funny because even today, I signed up last night, super last minute, and all day, I would think about the baptism and I would just break down in tears. And minutes before I even came, I was about to not come. I was about to 
just be like, no, I'm too nervous, I'm too scared, I don't know why. And I started praying, and I just heard a voice say, go. <laughs> go, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a little boy, he's, he's turning three, and, and most of all, I just, I, I want him to see what God can do in our lives. Come on, who's a parent out there? Who's a parent? Why don't you be an example for your children? Why don't you say, I'm going to take the first step? All right, stand on up. Here we go. This is so beautiful. Man, the anointing is so strong on her right now. Such a beautiful presence. In the name of the Father, the Son, help her down. In the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. That's good. Give her a hand. Come on. Thank you for being an example, Mama. Thank you for being an example. All right, my man, young buck right here. Take a seat, man. Take a seat. All right, bro. What's your name? Dante. How long you been coming to the way? Uh, since about February. Well, welcome, my man. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome him right now. Hey, once you come once, you're part of the? Okay. Now, why are you making this uh, decision, Dante, to be baptized today in front of all these people? Um, basically, uh, I just wanted to be a positive role model for my family. I wanted to plant that seed that has basically been being talked about. I got a beautiful daughter and a wife. I just wanted to be the first person. And uh, I had a dream like two weeks ago. Uh, God, God came and told me, he said, um, I want to be able to give you an abundant life, but you have to get rid of your old life first. And that's what I'm sure. Come on, come on, come on, Dante. Hey, let me tell you guys something. This is a proven statistic in church. Listen to this. If a child is the first one to get saved, it is a 35% chance that the parents and the rest of the house will get saved. If the mother is the first one to get saved, it is a 50% chance. But if the father will make a declaration to be saved, it is a 95% chance the entire house will come to Jesus. Come on, Father. Come on, fathers. Come on, dads. Be the people. Men, I need you to stand up. I need you to be powerful. I need you to know that you belong to God. I know you've messed up, but it's time to believe. Stand up, Dante. Come on, man. Here we go. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. There you go. Come on, give him a hand as he comes. Come on. Are y'all enjoying this? I'm loving this. Isn't this good? Take a seat, my man. What's your name? How long you been coming to the wave, brother? My name is Jacob. I've been coming to the wave um, last month. Um, how I got here, I, my friend Andrew is right here, actually. You want to take these off? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I'll yeah, take those glasses off. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. And, I mean, I just want to just, like, wash all my sins away, you know, start a new beginning. Like... I feel like, you know, I have definitely anger issues, you know, and I want to just feel like I'm at peace, you know, like that's it. You know? Let me tell you something, man. What was your name again? Jacob. Jacob. Let me tell you, man. The blood of Jesus is the only thing powerful enough to wash your sins. But let me tell you what you're doing now. Your sins are forgiven when you receive the blood of Jesus, but it's important to know that. Water could not cleanse you of the blood, but you know what this water represents? This is your decision that you're saying, I am serious about God, Jacob. You're saying, I will never go back to those old things that I used to hate about myself. And the reason why God wants you to do it in front of others is because now you're accountable. You're going to have help. You're going to have support. We are your family. We're the support for you, Jacob. You don't have to be afraid that you're going to go back. We're there for you, all right? So stand on up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Go on under. Sit down, Jacob. Take on up. Keep going. Keep going. All the way under, brother. Come on, all the way under. You got to be fully. There you go. That's it. Full immersion, brother. Full immersion. Come on now. Don't run. <laughs> nice step, man. He's got it. He's got it. All righty, my man. What's your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name's Andrew. I've been here for five weeks now. Five months. Welcome to the family. Welcome him in. Five weeks. Welcome him into the family. Hey, man, welcome. Why are you making this decision today to be baptized? Uh, addicted to drugs, alcohol, and uh, family problems. And uh, my brother's the reason I'm here today. And uh, being here, gaining my relationship back with him, and, uh, that's all I ever wanted. I want my brother back, and I'm grateful to have him back. That's great. Let me ask you, man, how long were you addicted to drugs and alcohol? Uh, for about three years. What was, if you had to describe what life was like during that time, how would you describe it? 
every time it was worse and it never got better and I just felt like I don't want to be alive no more and I just I just gave up and I just came to Jesus I just want to be home every time you just gave up there's no hope in that where is there but there's hope when you come to Jesus man I feel at peace now here I feel good I feel great I feel like I'm home come on baby. come on stand on up Come a little bit further back. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, my man. Come on, give him a hand, folks. Give him a hand. Yes, yes, yes. Got you, brother. Sit right here on this side, if you would, for me, man. A little closer to me. There you go. <laughs> What's your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Wanye Jeter, and I've been coming to the way for 12 years. Come on, you know him out there. Anybody know Wani? All right, Wani. What has Jesus done in your life, man? Well, Jesus has taken me um, away from depression. Um, I spent a lot of my life isolating myself from the world. And I have bought into the lie that if I just study the Bible and theology, then I know Jesus. But when I came into the man's home, for like the pa I've been here, I've been there for the past seven months, and I just realized that I never really knew Jesus because I never really trusted him to lead me. And now I'm, he's using me to serve his kingdom, and every single day, you know, I'm learning more about him, and I'm loving it. Come on, come on, come on, stand on up, man. All right, man, you're going to sit down first, and then you're going to fall over, okay? Sit down first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. There you go. Nice. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. There we go. There you go. He's alive. He made it out. Oh, it looks like you got something in your hand there. Mind if we take your glasses real quick? Or you got to read this first. Why don't you read it first? Two teenagers in here tonight. Let come her on, read it first. Go on. for it, Brian. Come on. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What is your name and how long have you been coming to the way? Okay. So my name is Divine, and I've been going here my whole life. Come on. We got a product, the church up in here. So what has Jesus done in your life? I know you, I know you got something prepared for you. Yeah. So there was a time when I was really sad, feeling attacked from the enemy Turn over and over again to the point when I, I just felt like, I just cried all the time, and all my loved ones seen me go to the, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm just. You're doing amazing. You're doing amazing. This is such yeah, an incredible day, and we're so proud of you. Right now, let's give it up for Divine right now. Come on. Let's give it up for her. Let's go ahead and have you finish. Come on, come on. So all my loved ones seen me in those times to, to the point when I was thinking about giving up. But then I began to sacrifice my time, and that time I spent with God. And then that, that way I would show the enemy, okay, I'm not going to let him have his way no more. And so, <laughs> and so I, just started, I just started to rely on God's word. That way I could fight back the enemy next time he tries to attack. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's give it up for Jesus! Yes! We got a few more teenagers coming up right here. Isn't it amazing to have these teenagers saying yes to Jesus? They don't have to go what we've gone through. What is your name and how long you've been coming to the way? Um, my name's Soraya. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been coming to the way for a year now. Awesome. What has Jesus done in your life that's caused you to make this decision today? Um, he brought me back to life from, you know, death. I didn't know how I was living before. I was broken and I was searching for all of it in boys. I was searching for it in astrology. I was searching for it in my family and I wasn't getting it. And so... I finally heard about a man named Jesus who can finally heal me in a way that no one else could. Yeah. And I always felt so broken and far away from my family and my friends. And 
I came to this church and God just lavished me in his love and showed me that he has such a better life for me than whatever I could ever imagine. And I am so happy that I have a whole new family here to just praise God with the rest of my life. Come on, Jesus. What would you say to any teenage girls right now? Um, I would say that being a Christian is not easy. It's really hard and you're going to fall a lot, but I promise you that there is no other love that you can look for but sides in God. Amen, amen. It is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, yes! We got another teenager coming up right here. Come on. We actually met him at a Christian club at Shannon Hills, and that's how we invited him. Come on. What is your name and how long you've been coming to the way? My name is Wade, and I've been coming here for like two to three years now. Two to three years now because of Pastor Bryant and Angel uh, showing show me at my school. Come on. What is causing you to make this decision? What has Jesus done in your life? He's done a lot in my life because I've been with him since, well, birth. And, <laughs> well, all he really done with me is help me through my life with all the troubles, how I've been broken because I've done a lot of sin, having a lot of breakdowns and depression. Well, today all that's going away. Do you believe it? We believe it too, all right? It is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus right now. Woo! Keep it going. This is good. This is good. You can actually just stay standing, okay? We'll just, we'll just keep it that way. We'll not torture you or tell the time that is needed. So if you turn this way just so that people can see you. What's your name? How long have you been coming to the way? My name is Alexia, and I almost been coming for like a year now. Okay, Alexia, welcome to the way today. Why are you making this decision? What has Jesus done in your life? Um, I wanted to leave my old past from behind and start serving and living for God. Awesome. And if you had to describe, uh, when did you get saved, first of all? How long ago? Um, just not that long ago. Um, my parents, they recommend me to Holy Warriors, and like before I was depressed and everything, but God saved me. So you've been through Holy Warriors. Which one? Class one or two? Or class one. If you are not a part of Holy Warriors, it's time to get involved. You're going to find healing there. You're going to find family there. It's powerful. So we're going to say this prayer. But I just want to tell you something specific because God's telling me something in my spirit for you. God is telling me that specifically the choices that you're making now, all the things, because I feel like you've had a period of your time where you don't even know what to ask for because you're trying to get acquainted with what is a dream. You feel like maybe I should have dreams. Other people have dreams. But you have no idea what a dream means because you want to have God's dreams. You really do. But I feel like God right now is leading you step by step. He's taking you by the hand, and he's leading you one step at a time. He's not going to overwhelm you, but he's going to tell you exactly what to do. In the next six months, I feel within these next six months, stay in Holy Wars, stay plugged in. There's going to be a radical transformation of your mind. You're going to be one of the boldest women that you know. You're going to be one of the most radical women that you know. You will not be afraid to talk to anybody about the gospel. I see there's a, a serious fire that's going to grow up inside of you, and it's going to be connected to one thing. You're going to be surrounded by other women that are going to empower and love you. Stay connected, okay? That's for you. Okay, here we go. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. Come on, my man. Stand facing him right over this way. All right, brother. What's your name? How long you been coming, man? Nelson Enriquez. I've been coming the last three months. Three months, man. Welcome to the way. Welcome to the way. We got some fans down there. Okay, for sure. Nelson, man, why are you doing this today? What has Jesus done in your life? Uh, in June, my mom got terminally ill, and the doctors gave her two months to live. So they said they couldn't do anything else, so I had to come to the one person who could, which was the Lord. And now she can walk again. She can feed herself again. She can go to again. So I owe it to him. 
All right, man. <laughs> That's good right there. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. God is the God of miracles. God is the God of power. God is looking after your mother. God is looking after your dad. Man, that's good. Woo. Oh, this is a beautiful atmosphere right now, Larry. How would you describe it? Oh, it's beautiful. Well, thank you. That's what I said, but praise God. No, I'm just, I love Larry. I'm just picking on it right here. All right, what's your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Yanni Leth, and I've been coming for a month and a half. A month and a half. We got people new to the family. I'm loving this. Come on now. Why is this the time? First of all, I feel like I want to ask you, have you had church experience before at other churches? Yes. Really? Okay. I feel like there, and, and I'm just getting this from the sense of the Holy Ghost. I feel like there's been different church experiences, but church hurts as well. There's been a distrust. Uh, people in church have been specifically responsible for hurting you at different times in your life. I don't know anything about you besides I'm just seeing this right now by the Spirit. Am I right about what I'm saying? But I want you to know, Jesus saw it all. This moment is more than just you going down into the water. What's your name again? Yanilet. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry, but I got to tell you something. The love of God is so fierce for you. He saw it all, but your future is not going to be filled with the same things that destroyed you before. This is not that church. I feel like God's telling me to tell you. This is not that time. This is not that place. When you go under this water tonight, you are coming out to a new beginning. And this is what God's saying. He's saying you're almost ready, but you got to let go one more thing. Your fear that it will happen again. Let it go under this water tonight. Because God told me to tell you he wants you to get the most of this moment. Are you ready for this? Trust the Lord. He's there for you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. All of it going. Come on, give her a hand. It's all new. It's all new. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Woo. My gosh. Mm. Hey, brother, I like, your, I like your chain right here, man. Come on. Come on. This, <laughs> he looked at me. He said, this water's cold. Hey, brother, we tried. A lot of things happened, so praise God. What is your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Chris, and I've been coming to the way a little over a year now. Welcome, Chris. Awesome, man. Who knows Chris? Anybody else know Chris out here? Oh, we got beautiful right here. Is that your wife? That's my hero. That's my Shiro. Oh, welcome, Shiro. You got some moves, too, Shiro. I like that. Okay. Why are you making this decision tonight? For almost 58 years, and I've been trying to do it my way instead of doing it his way. It's time to surrender to him. Now, if you know there's generational curses, could you name a couple of those that you are breaking? Adultery, lying, cheating, stealing. I don't think there's enough time to... <laughs> Woo, you need it all. So you better get all the way in this water tonight, brother. Are you ready? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you into a new future in Jesus' name. All generational curses broken right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the baptism of water. One faith, one baptism, one God. Hallelujah. Come on. Man, I'm about to get fired up on this stage, man. This is too much. This is too much. <laughs> it seems to be getting colder as the night goes on there. Thank you so much. God bless. Oh, you're going to sit down too? You bold. Okay. What is your name, ma'am, and how long you been coming to the way? Uh, my name is Ashley, and I've been coming off and on for a year. For a year. God bless you. Okay. Why are you making this decision tonight, Ashley? What has Jesus done? Um, well, last year, um, I went through a really bad domestic violence case with my son's dad, where he almost killed me. And I know like, I have a future of talking to young women, and I know I can't do it if I don't heal myself. So I need to heal myself first for them. Wow. Go ahead and be saying today. I want to ask you a question before we put you down. If there are women out there in this crowd tonight or watching online that have gone through what you're going through, they're living in fear, they're living looking over, what would you tell them tonight? You're making a, a very severe statement for God and in boldness that you're having trust in your future. What would you tell those women? Look into this camera and I want you to tell them. I would tell you that you're beautiful and don't let no one make you feel like you're not. Praise God. Come on. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Come on, give her a hand as she's coming out tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Man, that's serious. These are real people, y'all. This isn't scripted. This is something that happened in a person's life, and they're being willing to share it with you. Are you appreciating this tonight? People being vulnerable, sharing with you what they're going through. We serve a real God who mess with real people. Amen. And she's freezing. Praise God. What is your name and how long you been coming to the way so we can get you out of this water? My name is Rose, and I've been coming here for 10 years. Rose, what's God done? Um, what's God done? Um, I want to de rededicate my life to Christ, and my um, last baptism wore off. <laughs> the last baptism wore off. All right, I got to tell you, in 20 years of ministry, I have never heard the last baptism wore off. But you know what? I'm with you, girl. Let's get immersed again. <laughs> Come on up. In the name of the Father, Son, let him help you in the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> Chris, man, that's serious. All right. Woo, I've got to keep it together. I love this. <laughs> It wore off, man. God. Hey, man, if that's the case, a lot of y'all better come and jump in this right now. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Brother, what is your name? How long you been coming to the way? My name is Victor, and I've been coming almost three weeks now. Three weeks? Come on, welcome to the family, man. Welcome to the family. All right, Victor. Okay, man. What are you doing? Why are you doing this tonight? I'm doing this for myself, first of all, and my beautiful family right there. Um, I'm just, I lost my way and I'm trying to come back to it and God is the one for me and he knows where my heart is and where I want to be. Amen. Let's do this tonight. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Give him a hand as he comes out. New future, brother. New future. Come on through. Okay. We're going to translate. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yes. Make sure your mic works here, David. I got you too, man. I got you too. God bless. She says she's uh, been having problems with her legs since she's been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just stand right there, okay? Now what we're going to do for this, Larry, is we're, what we're going to do is we're going to just baptize you forward, okay? So all I want you to do is just come down this way. You go this way. She just let her know. She just had to touch her head in. What is your name and how long have you been coming to the way? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿Cuál? Susana. And Susana, why are you doing this tonight? ¿Por qué tú estás haciendo esto el día de hoy? Porque necesito tanto because I need tenerlo, so much tener a Dios in me. Más, have más. Jesus more in me. Um, hace, hace poco yo perdí a mi esposo not too long ago, y, I lost my husband. Y aparte de, de el sufrimiento de haberlo perdido, I was suffering through, due to the loss of my husband. Se levantó una guerra a, hacia mí. There was a war that was against me that lived up for my kids. Mis hijos me odian. My kids don't, hoy, don't love me up to date. El vecino, o sea, no se cansa de echarme la ciudad. The neighbor keeps y, calling the city on me. Y un día le dije yo a Dios, One day I told God, Dios mío, God, yo, yo ya no puedo con, con ellos. I cannot handle them no more. Encárgate tú de ellos. You handle them. Desde ese día, From that day forward, yo no existo para los vecinos. They don't, I don't exist for the, the neighbors no more. Eh, tengo tanto que agradecerle a Dios, I am so grateful to God. Mi esposo para mí era el aire que yo respiraba. My husband was everything, the air that I breathed era before. Todo para mí. He was for me before. Y, y gracias, gracias a Dios. And thank to God. He has given me peace. Tan grande, so big. Que por eso lo amo. That's why I love God and I want to have him in my heart too. All right. Hey, Larry, we really got to help this now. I'm going to help you as well. Can you hold this? Él te va a ayudar, ¿ok? Dice que Él te lo va a hacer para enfrente, no para atrás. En el nombre de, de Dios y del Espíritu Santo, en el nombre de Jesús. 
Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, can we get help over here? At least two people. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> yo, yo. All right. You got some fans out there already. Come on. Okay, man, you can stand right here. What's your name, man? How long have you been coming? My name is Gary. I've been coming to the way for about a few years, but just recently, consistently. Awesome, man. So what, what made you make the choice? Say, man, I got to be consistent in this. Well, um, my grandma died five years ago. She was a Christian pillar for our family. And as I, as I began to enter my early 20s, I thought, what is the greatest thing I could do in my life? What, what could I do that I leave a, leave a mark on this earth? And I don't think there's no greater thing you can do to pursue the gospel and make, make, make disciples and live a, live a model Christian life. Come on, man. Let's do it tonight. All right, I want you to sit down right here, and then you're going to go back. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Go on down. Go on back. There you go. There you go. That's the way. Good job, man. That way, right over here. <laughs> Superman is in the building. Yeah, it's a little bit cold. I want you to sit right over here. If you'll stand this way and face the crowd here, my brother. Thank you so much. What's your name and how long you been coming to the way? Uh, Pete, I've been coming for five years. Five years, Pete, awesome. I've seen you around, awesome, man. So why are you making this decision today to dedicate your life through baptism? I've been, well, for five years, I've been growing sp spiritually, little by little by little, and then I started doing the Holy Warriors class. And this last class, I kept hearing December 7th, December 7th, and then on the way home, I kept hearing um, baptism, and then I was reading scriptures, and I kept seeing baptisms and stuff. And so I'm like, it's time. So I signed up. So that's why I'm here. To, it's time to do it. Hey, and if there was one thing you could say, I mean, I know there's a lot of highlights. I'm feeling it right now. There's a lot of highlights God has done in your life. What's one thing you say that God brought you through? Oh, he brought me through a lot of, through my daughter's passing away and everything. So it's helped me a lot. And then also because of you, I started uh, speaking in tongues a little bit here and there. And I was like, hey, that, that really surprised me. But really, like, what, what was that? And then I started, yeah. Hey, Acts 2.38, this promise is for you, your father, your mother, your family, and all who are far off. Don't be afraid of the gift of the Holy Ghost, y'all. All right, stand up, my brother. Here we go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Come on now. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congrats on that, man. Congrats. Give me Jesus. Come on, sing. Give me Jesus. Close your eyes. Sing it. You can have all You Sing it one more time. Hands lifted in your seats right here. Come on, let's pray. Tell me, give me. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can all this world. What's your name? How long have you been coming to the way? My name is Alexis, and I've been coming here for 15 years. Welcome, Alexis, tonight. What has Jesus done in your life, Alexis? You're making this decision. Um, well, six weeks ago, I had to make the decision to step away from a relationship that I was in for two years, where on the outside looking in, you would think everything was great. The money, the businesses, the cars, the luxury lifestyle, everything looked good, but the God wasn't in the center of the relationship at all, and that always leads to destruction. So I did it my way. I gave that relationship everything that I had. It left me feeling broken, empty, cheated on, depression. I went back, gave forgiveness to that person time after time, and reached a point, and I was just done. And God said to me, because when you're in that position, all you can do is really cry when you're so depressed and in such darkness. And God said, you've given this relationship everything that you had. Why don't you give me a chance now? <laughs> stand up, stand up. 
It's the time. All right, we're going to help you here. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Come on. There is nobody who can love you like Jesus. There's no relationship like Jesus. So beautiful. So beautiful. Come on in. We're doing great tonight. If you stand, just face this way. What's your name and how long you've been coming to the way? My name is Jenny Cervantes. I've been coming for over a year. Welcome. And what's Jesus done in your life, Jenny? Um, he has brought me a lot of peace when I needed it. Um, he has also shown me how faith is going to make me and my family stronger. Um, I didn't know what it was like to have Jesus in my life. Um, because when I was baptized, I was baptized when I was a baby. So I really didn't have that relationship with God. So that's something that has hindered and has pressed on like this whole year. And I've grown stronger and more faithful. So now it's time. It's time. It's time. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Stand on this side if you would. You can just stay standing. Face this direction. What's your name and how long you've been coming? Uh, my name is Francis, and I've been coming for two months. Welcome, Francis, to the way. This is your family. Now, what has God done in your life, friends? Um, well, he saved me from drugs, alcohol, and almost being homeless. You in the women's home right now? Yes. Yes, come on, give it up. Who's in the women's home? We got any women here been helping and been through that? All right. Now, you said you were on drugs, alcohol. How long were you in this? Um, I was an alcoholic for like 20 years. And I was on drugs like nonstop for like seven. What kind of drugs are we talking about? <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> We're talking the drugs, right? I, the reason why I'm asking is because there has been, some people are followed and it just seems like everywhere they go, there is favor, everything just works out for them. And then some people, it, it's like wherever they go, they're always at the wrong place at the wrong time. And that is your story to this point. There has been, much that has been following you of evil for most of your life. Many of it was because, some of it was the choices you brought on yourself, but others was because of other people's words, that are curses that have been brought towards you. There's been a lot of verbal abuse in your life. There's been uh, betrayal that's happened in your life from many people. But when you came to the way, and now in this women's home, what would you say that you're feeling right now after making this decision? Um, right now I'm feeling really like joy, and peace yeah <laughs> hey this is a new future for you i want to tell you this as well god told me to tell you everything the enemy has stolen from you god is gonna pay it back seven times over that's the bible in jesus precious holy name and the father the son and the holy spirit i baptize you in jesus name the thief has been caught the thief has been caught. Somebody needs to know this. The thief has been caught. He's been seen. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Bless your name. Oh, this woman is precious to the Lord. You're so precious to God. I feel this very strong right now. You're so precious to the Lord. He loves everybody. You know that, right? But you're very special to God. This moment... I feel God is leaning over heaven and been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. I feel he's been calling you for a long, long time. He's been calling you through other people. What's your name? How long have you been coming? I've been coming here a few years, and my name is Sonia. Sonia, what has Jesus done in your life? Um, he's done um, so much in filling in my emptiness of being just feeling emptiness. Um, fiddling, um, fighting uh, uh, spiritual warfare, and the only way that I can um, win is through Jesus Christ. 
Come on, come on. All right, you got people surrounding you. Stand up if you're supporting her. You say you're gonna come through this. She needs strength right now. She needs strength. Are we her family? As we stand up in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, keep shouting, keep shouting in Jesus' name. That's power, that's help. We're here. Come on, you're coming through. Some people just need an extra jolt of faith, y'all. They're doing this and they're going out on faith. But people need support. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, you got your socks on. You sure do. <laughs> okay, okay. If you'll face this way, ma'am. I love your nails, by the way. Praise God. Um, what is your name and how long you been coming to the way? My name's Amanda. I've been coming to the way a little over a year. A little over a year. Amanda, welcome to the family. What has Jesus done in your life? Oh, man. So I'm like... Uh, Third generation addict, my mother and father both died at young ages due to their addiction to the disease, you know, and I'm just, I'm 32 days clean myself. <laughs> come on, come on, we celebrate you. We celebrate your freedom, come on. We celebrate the power of God in your life, yes. All right, girl, are you ready for this? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. 32 days clean and going. 32 days clean and going. Hey, brother, that's some hair right there, man. That's some hair right there. Bam, man, how you get that thing to be like that? Anyway, all right. What's your name? Can you face this way, my brother? What's your name and how long you've been coming to the way? Six, seven years. Awesome, Quincy. Man, you got some swag to you, too. I like that. Um, why are you making this dedication to be baptized tonight? Because God gave me a decision to graduate, and it was a hard task for me to graduate. It took me five years to graduate, and I finally got my diploma yesterday. Come on, man. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I'm sorry for your hair. Be blessed. Amen. Jesus' name. All right, now we go. It's laying down now, brother. Oh, it's still got a little body to it. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, now listen, she cannot get this arm wet. We're going to help you, man. We got you, we got you. Slowly. Okay, you got some plastic. Now, just step down if you would. We'll help you down here. Okay. What's your name? How long have you been coming to the way? My name's Tammy Mena, and I've been coming to the way on and off since Pastor Marco was at Sierra Way. So... Yeah. Well, thank you for being a faithful family member, Mama. All right. What has God done for you? I was baptized uh, in March, but I had the little angry spirit still trying to tug at me, you know, because the enemy wants me to still serve him, but I'm like, no. So I'm doing the Holy Warrior classes here, and they wanted to do baptism, so I said, hey, Holy Spirit said, go on. Come on. How long have you been struggling with this anger? Oh, probably since I was five years old. And, but, you know, like I said, I, the more I, f I fulfill God's purpose for my life, the enemy's just trying to attack me in, in all areas, you know. So I just keep going. I want to tell you what the Bible says. The righteous man or woman will fall down six times, but the Lord will lift them up again. There is a final time that this will totally be done. Do you believe me? Tonight is a marking night. All of our faith is joined with yours that this spirit, this whatever you want to call it, since five years old, on this date, on this day, this is the mark of truly it being all over. Can you agree with me in faith on this? As we reach out our hands, reach out your hands toward her in faith. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Praise God. God bless you, man. Come on. Well, we know you got the fire. Look at that hair. <laughs> That's funny. All right, turn this way, man. It looks beautiful, though, I got to tell you. Sorry it's about to be messed up. All right. What is your name and how long you've been coming to the way? My name is Linda, and I've been coming a few months. Um, I've been addicted to meth for 20 years. And on September 13th, they had given me something bad, and I just cried and cried and dropped to the floor in my bedroom and begged God to take this addiction away. And ever since September 13th, I haven't touched it in every, it's been four months. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years, 20 years to meth. And sit, 
It, and since September the 13th, you have not touched in four months. Just cold, just gone. That is a miracle of God, people. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we bat. Okay, go ahead, put that thing up. We baptize you in Jesus' name. God bless. Down and up. Methamphetamine gone. Meth is gone. Meth is gone. Meth is gone. Man. A married couple, I got to baptize y'all together. Come on in. Come on in. We got to baptize y'all together. It's wet up here in MA. Everybody's swimming around. It's okay. If you both face this direction, you guys can hold hands, just face directions, and both stand right there. Okay. What is your names? My name is Victor. How long have y'all been coming to the wet? Five months. Five months. All right. Victor and Candace, what has Jesus done in your life that you guys are doing this together as a married couple? Well, it saved our marriage, well, first of all, and um, helped me with my alcoholism and just um, helped me with my family. Healing. A lot of healing and peace in the inside. I see there's a deep, deep story. I'm not going to ask you any more questions, but I know that this is important for both of you. You guys are setting the example for who? Do you mind sharing? Our children. Our children. For your children. For your children. <laughs> guys, this is a married couple getting baptized together. To help them on that side. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Go on under. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Keep coming, we're doing good. Mike, how many we got left, buddy? You're doing great, we're doing great. Quite a few, okay, come on. There's a few more. What's your name, how long you been coming? Uh, my name's Lupe, I've been coming for about four months now. All right, Lupe, this is what we're gonna do. Tell us, what has Jesus done in your life? Um, he has filled me with his peace and his love and his faithfulness, because I've struggled with doubt in myself and um, just lived in a scarcity mindset and the verse that I always tell myself whenever I'm afraid is from 2 Timothy um, 1 verse 7 and it's for God has not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of love of power and of a sound mind in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit we baptize you in Jesus name if everybody would stand to their feet real quick this is what we're gonna do Let's bring everybody out just one by one, and we want them to get baptized. If you have family members who are still standing over here, please come up to the front for just a moment. What we're going to do is ask their name, and then we're going to baptize them, and we want to hear you all celebrating every single one of these people. Amen? Right now. Okay, come on up. Here we go. Another married couple, come on in together. If we could have your glasses, that'd be great. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. Awesome. Turn this direction right here. Say your names for everybody. What is your name? How long you been coming? Alyssa, and I've been coming for about four months. Hands raised. Eric, and about four months. Base out here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Come on, my brother. Come on. Bring them all, Mike. Bring them all. Thank you, brother. Go ahead. Stand there. Turn this direction. What's your name, sir? Let's get your glasses from you. Ty. How long you been coming? Uh, three months. Here we go, Ty. I know there's a lot about your life that God's touching right now. Would you lift your hands up? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. Give him a hand as he comes. Go ahead. Keep going. Thank you, Ty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn this way. What's your name? Kenya. Kenya, are you ready for this tonight? All right, lift your hands up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. What's your name, ma'am? Christina. Christina, are you ready for this tonight? Let's get a little extra help over here. One more time, my brother, right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in Jesus' name. There you go. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Helping her up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my man. Here we go. What's your name, brother? My name's Henry. Henry, are you ready for this tonight? You're Armando's uncle. This is Armando's uncle right here. Armando's going to help us baptize. Go for it, Armando. Tell him. I your name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah! <laughs> 
Praise God. Come on, come on, come on. Kids world, kids world. Who loves kids world? Who believes in kids world? There you go. Step right on down here, my man. What's your name, brother? Samuel. Samuel, how old are you? Uh, uh, 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Samuel, you ready for this tonight? All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. Good job, Samuel. Awesome, man. Awesome. Keep on coming. All right, all right, all right. Come on, let's keep it up. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. What's your name, my man? Joel. Joel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Ooh, this water's catching on fire now. Man. Yeah, it's a little cold. It's a little cold. What's your name, ma'am? Jenny. Jenny, are you ready for this? New life. Old's going down. New's coming. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, my man. Awesome, brother. What's your name, man? Jason. Okay, brother. Are you ready for this? Let's go right on down. In the name. Put your hands up. Of the Father. Everything's going new now, brother. Everything. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Man, this pool is something. Keep on coming. Oh, man, the Holy Ghost is on you, man. That's the Spirit of God touching you right now. That's the love of Jesus. That's the love of Jesus. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. Come on. Turn this way. Turn this way. Lift your hands up. Let him know that you're getting free today. You're getting free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is honored. Jesus is touching you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Bless him. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on in, my man. Help him, my brother. Help him. Just walk with that peace, man. You're going to, hey, you speak English, man? You're going to have peace for the next 14 days. Every time you sleep, God is telling me you're going to go to bed in peace. You're going to wake up in peace. It's going to pass all your understand. Come on, man. Amen. What's your name, man? Richard. Richard, all right. In the name of the Father, the Son, all your past is gone, Richard. In Jesus' name, we baptize you. Amen. Great, Richard. Come on, man. Face this direction. What's your name? Christelle. Christelle, put your hands in the air. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. We got two sisters. We got two sisters that are coming. What's your name? Katie. Katie. So your sister, younger or old? Same age. Oh, my God. Sister in Christ. I got you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. All right, all right. Come on. Only a couple more. This is amazing. What a celebration tonight. Brother. You got some things you could say, man. I know. What is your name? Joaquin. Joaquin, how long you been coming to the way? Seven months. Joaquin, man, it's truly all over. I just got to tell you, it's never going to happen again. The past is gone. There's deep things that God has done with you, even in these seven months. Incredible key moments. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. What's your name? Ajene. Ajene, you ready for this? Oh, man, God's touching it right now. Put your hands out toward her. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. The old is gone, Ajene. The old is gone. <laughs> All right, if you face this direction, what is your name, ma'am? Valerie. Valerie, how long have you been coming to the way? Um, since the last God encounter. Ooh, we got another one on Saturday. I hope you're coming to the God Encounter on Saturday. Holy Ghost, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got fans right here. You got fans right here. Bless you. What's your name? Shitara. Shitara, how long you been coming? Two months. 
All right, Shatara, welcome to the family. Lift your hands up. God is about to do something supernatural, Shatara. When you go under this water, it's not just water. It is a declaration. When you go under, you're leaving everything under the water, and you're coming up brand new. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. Come on, my boys. Come on, brothers. Both of you, get up in here. All right, man. Hey, they just walked up out of the crowd. They said, man, I got to get baptized tonight. You know, because the Holy Ghost is in this pool. What's your name, man? KZ. What's your name? Shrakeem. Hey, I just want y'all to know, a revival is coming, y'all, where the spirits and hearts of men will be so convicted and moved that they will be running to the altars, not just to be saved, but they'll be getting baptized in water. They won't care if they're wearing dresses. They won't care if they're wearing suits. Men and women, both of them, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. It's my boy, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Let's help her in. Come on in. Oh, this is your daughter. Mama and daughter. Mama and daughter coming in together. And grandma's right here. We got three generations. We got grandmother. We got mama. We got daughter. Woo, this is special. <laughs> Oh, this is the, come on, give him a hand. Three generations. It's not too late, mama. Wow. Okay, I need a couple guys for this. I need a couple guys. I need you, my sir. Can you please come and help? Right here. Thank you so much. One on each of their backs, please. Uh, Jack, whoever, Mike, whoever needs to come and help. What's your name, ma'am? Juwan. What's your name? Tanya. What's your name? Paris. And you all are about to be baptized together. This is so beautiful. We celebrate you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wow, guys, wow. Can you give him one more hand? Give him one more hand. Be seated real quick. Be seated real quick. Wow. Is Jesus not beautiful, y'all? Yeah. Guys, this was a special, special moment. We're going to have a moment real quick to give back to the Lord, and then I'm going to come back and lead you in a prayer. Have you enjoyed this night, how special this has been? Christian, come on up, man. Let's give a hand for all those that made the decision to follow Jesus tonight. You know, I had something planned and prepared to talk about forgiving, but as I'm seeing one after another, after another making this decision, I was reminded of the scripture. I want you to hear this. Can we pull it on the screen, please? It's in Matthew 25. This is when Jesus, he's saying to people, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you gave them to me. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Hallelujah. Then the people who have done what is right will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you as a stranger and invite you in? When did we see you needing clothes and give them to you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you. And this is what Jesus said to them. This is what Jesus is saying to you tonight. The king will reply, what I'm about to tell you is true. Anything you did for one of these, one of the least important of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Whatever you did, church, for all those that came up here tonight and were baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, you did that for the Lord. Whatever you did for all those to give their life to Jesus and to kick addiction, you did for the Lord. Whatever you did for those that came up tonight and are making a decision once and for all to follow Jesus, you did for the Lord. Whatever you did for them, you did for Jesus. We do all of this for the Lord and for them. Come on, let's give God praise that we get the chance to touch lives tonight. We'll have opportunity again. I want to remind you, church, that Christmas is a time where families don't celebrate. Families are hungry. 
Families are without toys and clothes. Here at The Way, we want to say this. We're willing to put our, to sacrifice, to give towards making sure you have a Christmas. We're going to see thousands of families in all of our campuses all over the world coming to receive a gift on Christmas, but also to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as we do that, we're, as we're giving towards that, our offerings tonight and all the offerings we do, we're making it possible for people to come to know Jesus. And also, our breakthrough offering is this Sunday. We, there's an envelope. Come on, let's get excited for that, church. Let's see this as breakthrough, not just for you, but breakthrough for somebody. Someone else that's going to be in that line that will make the decision to follow Jesus and never turn back. This, this Sunday, we're bringing a breakthrough offering, and there's ushers all over that have an envelope. We've been praying. We've been believing that as we bring a seed this Sunday, we're believing that we're going to experience breakthrough, supernatural breakthrough in our lives like we've never experienced before. We're believing that. I'm believing that. My wife and I have been praying, and we're ready. We're ready to sow a seed this Sunday in faith, believing for breakthrough and even in our lives. And I believe all of us should be ready. This Sunday is a day. So if you need one of these envelopes, raise your hand. The ushers are all around. I see hands going up. Make sure you take this home. Pray about it. And we're going to bring a breakthrough offering this Sunday. But what we're going to do right now, of course, at the opportunity to bring our normal tithes and offerings, it, there's ways that we can do that. Three easy ways we can do that. You can give on the Wayward Outreach app tonight. You can give on this website, theway.gives. You can open your phone and do that right now. Or you can go to any one of our kiosks in the sanctuary. Or if you're online, you can come Monday through Friday at our business offices or give on the app. There's three ways we can do that tonight. Let's give tonight knowing that everything we do for the least of these, we do for the Lord. How many are thankful we get to do that tonight? I'm going to say a quick word of prayer as we give. We're going to do one song. We're going to worship in giving and we're going to worship in song. But before, before everyone leaves, we're going to give an opportunity for more souls to come to know Christ. We won't dismiss until Gavin dismisses tonight. Let's pray. Father, we bless this offering. We give this in your hands and we pray that you would have your way, God. We believe that on Sunday we're going to see breakthrough like we've never seen before. We give you thanks that we get to sow seed in all the lives that were transformed tonight. We pray that the seed we sow tonight will result in more lives being transformed. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all say amen. Let's worship in our giving tonight. <laughs>